Hi, this is TJ Muleman from Standard Co. with a very short tutorial on how to create linked columns in Metabase. So here's the use case. I have uh, a collection of names here off to the right. Uh, and I want to, when somebody clicks on that name, I want to take them to a new dashboard that displays some data. Um, and the, the trick with what we're doing is one, we've aliased the column name. So we've you've done this with a native SQL query. And two, I wanna to link to a public dashboard. Um, a lot of the, the dashboard linking can be done on the dashboard side, but for what I'm doing specifically, I need, I need to do this inside the question. So here we go. So I'm in a question here and I've got a very simple um, list of names, fake names here. Uh, and I wanna make this particular column clickable. So what I do is I click on that column header and I click column formatting. And uh, you'll see here, there's the name of the column and then view as link or image. I wanna make this a link. There's obviously these other options, but we'll talk about those some other time. So I'm gonna click link and then I can put link text. Uh, I'm gonna leave it alone. The name of the, um, uh, the, the person in this case is called Matrone. And then the URL. So you'll notice that the URL um, allows you to put in whatever URL you want. And I'm actually linking to a public dashboard. And that's because the users of this dashboard do not have a Metabase username and password. They're simply using the Metabase dashboards that we create for them. So um, if I click out here, the thing is I wanna be able to pass a variable to the other dashboard so I can limit you know, which, um, which particular Matrone I'm looking at. And the way you do that, is out here um, in this particular dashboard, it has a filter called Matrone name. Okay, so that's set on the dashboard I'm passing to. The, pass, the dashboard I'm passing from, or the question I'm passing from, which is this one, uh, Metabase supports uh, the column name or variable that you can pass and it'll dynamically generate that URL. And so uh, it's sort of hard to tell. I had made this mistake, these are not brackets, these are squigglies. Um, and so, and then you put the alias column name. So I kind of beat my head on this one too. It's not the, uh, the SQL, uh, column name. It's whatever, if you've aliased it, you'll use the alias. So when I do that and I hover over this, this will take me to a dashboard that automatically filters to the user I'm looking at. So, um, hopefully they found that useful and, uh, add it to your dashboard next time you're creating one.